Hello, this is 60 Goblins in One Brush with another video about Warhammer Age of Sigma. This time about basing tutorial. This is the great water texture test. We have different kinds of water textures here. The Vallejo still water texture, the Vallejo water texture, Mod Podge from Plate, AK water gel effects diorama, Green Stuff World splash gel, Green Stuff World UV resin, and just to compare PVA glue. So on this model, I first used um, Mod Podge, and then I made the mistake to put the water effects on top. Afterwards, I dry brushed it a little bit, um, the crest a little bit with white. But um, the water gel, it doesn't come out totally transparent. All these water textures, except the still water, look white before you use them. But this one doesn't end up white. If you look here, This is the AK um, water gel diorama effects. It's not totally translucent. Not as bad as the PVA glue, but not very good either. So this, no. This you can use to create depth effect, but not for shallow water. Then the one I like best so far is a Mod Podge. It's a glue, but it comes out totally transparent. Gloss Luster Mod Podge. It's a little bit of a yellow tint, but you won't see it. The only problem with it is you easily get bubbles. Um, then the next best I find is the Vallejo water texture. Agua transparente. As you see here, there's a little bit of a whitish rest. It will clear probably. I laid down all of them pretty thick, so it takes more than 24 hours, much more than 24 hours to solidify. Not the water gel, that's pretty quick. But all those here take days, let's say four or five days. Another one that's really good but very liquid is the Vallejo still water texture. Yeah. It's very liquid so I poured it in here at the rim. This you can slop on, they're all very thick. Yeah. You can take a basing tool and slobber them on the surface of your base, no problem. But the water texture, still water texture, is really it's a liquid. Maximum three millimeter, otherwise it just flows off your base. So you have to do several layers if you want it deep. But it's very transparent, it also has a bubble, but it's probably easier to get it out because it's so um, liquid. So this is also a really nice effect, but you can't do it very deep. Then the last one is the Green Stuff Splash Gel. I don't have much experience with it. I just ordered it directly for this video. I don't get sponsored, by the way, by any of those companies. I love Green Stuff World. Most of the products are awesome. I'll talk about more of the products later. Um, I just put it on today. About two hours ago it starts to get transparent already and will take maybe two more days to dry. But I don't want to wait for two or three or four more days to finish the video. So it, I guess we will see tomorrow uh, before I upload the video. And I will be away for a few days but try to keep the contact coming content coming. Um, I guess it will look similar to the other two. They are pretty similar. 
Um, I have the most experience with the Mod Podge. It's a really, really um, nice consistency to work with, but it takes a long time to dry. What you can do is different layers. The thinner, the um, shorter the drying time. Then after 24 hours it's dry and transparent, then you can put on another layer and so on. And all of them are possible to mix with colors, um, shade colors or contrast colors or intensity inks. And then you have uh, a watercolor. Okay, another one is the UV resin. What you need for the UV resin is an ultraviolet light. If you shine on the ultraviolet light, then it will dry in minutes, it says. I tried it with sunlight, I tried it with another UV lamp. It didn't work well and I read about it um, in comments of YouTube videos that other guys had the problem as well. So I'll do another test right now uh, with a lamp that Green Stuff World provides. So let's see. Okay, let's continue. A very cheap um, battle line um, possibility here is just to put on some blue and then some citadel art coat. That would be very very simple but it doesn't really look like water. Here on this troll I have already put some Vallejo water texture and now we'll compare it to the UV resin. What you need is a mask. It stinks. Open the window or do it outside. It's winter now so I won't do it outside. Put on the mask. Okay, um, press this, put it on the right way around, with the nose clip on, am I visible? No, Ooh. can't go down that much, and then I'll open the UV resin, put on the light, and I'll just put on a little bit here in front of the troll. Okay, it's a jelly texture, doesn't flow too much. If you use a lot, then it will flow off. You see it starts stinking. Gives off a fume. Can't be very healthy. Starts boiling actually. Can you see that? It's supposed to be... It's supposed to take only two minutes. So let's see, I'll pause the video here because you probably don't want to watch me for two minutes holding the UV lamp on the troll and then we see the result in however many minutes it takes. I'll pause the video here. Okay, so I know I didn't show the things too well. This is the Vallejo water texture. Still water from Vallejo. Uh, the Mod Podge. The AK. And here the Green Stuff World Splash. And the Green Stuff Resin. Here again, AK, 
PVA glue, Mod Podge, Bayero water texture, Green Stuff World is not finished, still water, and now we have here, it really only took two minutes, if you see here, it's hard, it hardened really in two minutes, if you don't put too much and if you don't put any, if you don't mix any color in here, that was my first try, I, um, it was too thick, too much at once and too much color. You only use one or two drops, that's enough, otherwise it will not be transparent anymore. Then you could have just used color in the first place. Um, here not even one drop, a tiny fracture of a dollop only, that's already enough. Okay, there's one more funny thing about this UV lamp. If I turn off the lights and turn on the UV lamp instead, you see um, you have this glow effect. But it's not that impressive actually, and who plays in the dark? So it's not violet, it's uh, green. But I won't use it anymore. For this one for the UV resin it does work, but please do it outside, wear a mask and use the Green Stuff World lamp. Otherwise it doesn't work and uh, use as little color to mix inside as possible. You can, all of these textures you can mix in color, but um, use as little as possible really. It, you, even if you can't see it, when it dries you will be able to see it. So if you like the video give us a like. Thank you very much for watching and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you soon. We'll keep the content coming.